Hello guys, Bradley Sutton here, Director of Training here at Helium 10. And I'd like to introduce to you one of our newest tools, which is Listing Builder. Now, Listing Builder is in the process of replacing one of the oldest tools we have. Actually, the first tool that we had here at Helium 10 way back in 2016, that's Scribbles. Uh, Scribbles is still going to be available for now. But if you're watching this video maybe a year from now, you might only have Listing Builder. So in this video, we are going to go over exactly how to use Listing Builder. Now, first of all, where you can find it is in the main menu under listing optimization, you're going to want to hit listing builder. It's in beta uh, right now. And here is how you can uh, pretty much navigate right here on the main page. Uh, here at the top, what we see is the status of the different listings that you might have. Yours, if you're just starting this, is probably going to be blank right here. But once you have this going, it's going to uh, have a button here for all. This shows everything that you have uh, done. These are processing. All right. These are, there's an error in the uh, sync. Uh, these mean that it was synced, all right? And these are the ones that are linked to actual ASINs. Synced, there'll be a video on how to sync these listings. That's the cool thing about Listing Builder. You can actually, with the click of a button, take your listing from Helium 10 and upload it to your uh Amazon account. Now, looking over here uh, to the right, there's the add a listing button. Here we've got a search bar and I can search by ASIN, SKU or title. So like, for example, let's say that I, I know I have a coffin shelf, right? So I, if I just start typing in coffin and then press enter, uh, all of the ones that either have my title or SKU with coffin in it are going to come up here to reset it. I just delete this and press enter. All right. Now, uh, what are the two forms of adding a listing? We're going to have uh, detailed videos, uh, right after this about exactly how you would use each, but basically in a nutshell, create from scratch. This is gonna allow me to just start from scratch, just like it says, a new listing, all right, that doesn't exist yet in my Seller Central account. Or I'm gonna actually show you guys another video on how you can start by using maybe a competitor ASIN as a basis. Uh, this option is optimize your listing. So if I were to click this, optimize your listing, it's going to show all of the listings that are connected to my Seller Central account that I have. Um, and I have it in different marketplaces. Right now, I only have Amazon USA, Canada, and Mexico. So I can uh, hit this drop down menu and then start optimizing a listing that already exists in my Seller Central account. All right, going back to the dashboard here, um, the, these are all the titles and the image, uh, like a little thumbnail of the of the listing, here is the marketplace that it's in. Um, all of mine are in the USA, but there might be, uh, you might have some in Mexico or Canada or other marketplaces. Now this is interesting, this is the versions, all right? So every time you do work on this, we automatically save it as a version. So like, let's say that I want to revert to a different version that I did like maybe a month ago, I can hit restore or I can hit view. And then just to like differentiate what's going on with these different versions, I can actually add a note right here and say, Hey, this is, uh, this is the version that Leilama did as a test or something like that. Right. And then that's going to, you know, remind me what kind of version that is, um, here, the, this is the ASIN. If I click it, I can actually view it on Amazon. Here is the SKU from seller central. Here's that status. Remember the, the status up here. Um, if it was processing, that means it's trying to sync. Uh, if it's draft, that means I haven't uh, uploaded it to Seller Central yet. If it's sync, that means the latest version I had hit sync and it confirmed that it did update in Amazon. This is the last time I edited it here in um, inside of Listing Builder. If I want to go ahead and edit this listing, I'm going to hit this edit button right here. And then if I hit these three dots, I have different uh, buttons right here. For example, uh, duplicate, uh, sync to Amazon. I'm going to talk about that more. Uh, export a CSV. This is not a flat file, guys. So just keep that in mind that we're not saying uh, we're going to download it into a template. But exporting as CSV allows me at least to have a hard copy version of the content in my listing. And then here's another way to go to the view versions. And this one deletes it, not from your Seller Central account, but it deletes it from your listing builder. So again, make sure to check the next videos on how you can actually start working and uh, making a brand new listing or an existing listing here in Listing Builder.